Okay, so yes, sir. Good night. Peace to everyone. Anyone checking out this video on Brother Shum's Corner. Um, you know, the topic that we're doing tonight is called um, Why. Why the Bible is not for everyone and why everyone cannot hear or understand the Bible. Starting with so-called Israelites who are supposed to be the children of the Lord. So what we want to do is not go into our own commentary. We want to let the scriptures speak for themselves um, as to what the Lord says, as to what he says. Okay. So let's start with Ephesians. Ephesians, the first chapter, and let's see how this is broken down, right? Now, there are many scriptures, so this is a part one scenario. This is a part one scenario, okay? This is going to be probably two or three parts. This is part one. So let's go in the book of Ephesians and see what the Lord says as to why. Ephesians, the first chapter, and we're going to, what, what we're going to do here is we're going to pluck words. You're going to see words, right? Ephesians, the first chapter, the 17th, 18th verse, 19th verse, that the God of our Lord, Jesus Christ, so our Lord is Jesus Christ, so who is his God? That's the most high. Okay, so for you to know who the Most High is, you go to the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter and the ninth verse. For you to most know who the Most High is, that's the I am. Okay, you go in the book of Exodus, the third chapter, it'll tell you. He says, I am that I am. That's his names. Okay, so that's who we're talking about. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus the Christ means anointed Savior, the Father of glory. Right? So Christ is the Father of glory may give unto you, now it says, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. See that? So everybody don't have it. It has to be given unto you. The spirit of wisdom and revelation, he has to reveal something. See that? In the knowledge, see? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The eyes, see, now Now you got to open your eyes. That's one of the key words that we're going to be touching on. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Now, why did he say the eyes? Because everybody don't have this. Everybody's eyes is not enlightened. Everybody don't have the same understanding. Okay, how do we know that? Let's go to the book of Proverbs, right? Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Let's just break it down. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, the fourth chapter, and the seventh verse. Proverbs, the fourth chapter, and the seventh verse. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. See that? So you got to get wisdom and you got to get understanding. But how are you going to get this understanding? How are you going to get this understanding? Let's stay in Proverbs and let's see how you're going to get this understanding. Okay. Let's go to Proverbs. Proverbs 12, verse 13. It said, a man shall be commended according to his wisdom. See that? A man shall be commended according to his wisdom. But where does wisdom come from? Let's see where does wisdom come from. Let's stay in Proverbs 
Proverbs 15, verse 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. Bang. Where does wisdom come from? You have to fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. So people don't understand the Bible because they're not humble. They are proud. People don't understand the Bible, so they come in not clean. They don't wash themselves. They don't wash their minds out of the things that's already in there that they've clogged themselves up with. They don't have an empty mindset. They don't have an empty mindset. So they come in with all their philosophies, all their religions and stuff like that, all their doubts. And these are concepts of Satan. These are concepts of Satan. These are concepts of Satan, okay? So therefore, the fear of the Lord is the instruction. But wait, look at the 32nd verse. He that refuses instruction despises his own soul. So if you don't want to be instructed by the Lord, therefore you can't see. Therefore the book is not for you. Therefore, the book is not for you. You're wasting your time having it if you don't believe. You're wasting your time. Okay? You're wasting your time. So that was Proverbs 4, verse 7. So let's go back to Ephesians. The eyes, your eyes, of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. See that? So your eyes have got to be enlightened. Your eyes have got to open up. So what is he really talking about? Let's go in the book of Matthew. This book is not for everybody. That's what I found out. And it doesn't matter because you think that you're black. It doesn't matter or you call yourself an Israelite, it doesn't matter. Nope. Let's go in the book of Matthew. Okay. In the book of Matthew, he says, Matthew 6, verse 22 and 23. He says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye, see that, that's, if therefore thine eye He's talking about the spiritual eye. Be single. The whole eye be full of light. So why is he talking about that? Because you can focus. You can focus. Okay? That's where you get the word, you know, the binoculars is two. Two. But when you got one ocular, see that? You can focus. So therefore, when you put a one ocular you got to look with both two eyes through one, one center point. Thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? So he's talking about two lights in the human body, in the human mind, in the human spirit. There's two lights in us. And that's why people can't get it because more people... Look at the 24th verse. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve the father and mammon. So a lot of people is on that precipice. You see that? A lot of people is on that precipice. So now... We're going to a main chapter. We're going to a main chapter. This is part one as to why people do not understand the Bible. Now we're going to let the Savior talk. This is the parable of the sower. This is going to basically fill up this first 
uh, part. Matthew, the 13th chapter. Now, I got a bunch of scriptures on other parts as to why people cannot get it, okay? But we're going to deal. This came to me earlier on. This is a very deep chapter. This encompasses everything. This is a very deep chapter right here. The same day the Savior came out of the house and sat by the seaside. Watch, watch. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. So how deep was his voice that he was able to speak to them, and he's on the sea, he's in the sea, and they hand him on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables. See, reason two why people do not understand the Bible. But he don't break that down. Because things is in parables. So if your mind is not elevated, so it's like you're going to a computer science school and you only know basic math, then you can't go. You can't go. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a soul went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some of the seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and wherefore wit they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was scorched, was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell upon thorns, sprung up and choked them. Okay. Come on. It's Facebook crap, man. And some fell upon thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. And others fell upon good ground and brought forth fruit, some in hundredfold, some in sixtyfold. And some 34, who have ears to hear, let them hear. So now the disciples said, why speakest unto them in parables? This is what the Bible is. The Bible is parables, mysteries, codes, and everybody can't pick it up. Everybody can't pick it up. And he answered and said, because it is given unto you, not to everybody. See, this is the first reason. This book is not for everybody. There it is. So now, you know, you ain't supposed to be upset that other people can't get it. When I first started learning, you know, I used to be upset. Well, you know, I'm teaching this one. I'm teaching that one. You know, I'm trying to, you know, bring people into the word and into the truth. I'm thinking what I'm doing. I'm in a carnal mindset thinking what I'm doing. And he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you, the disciples. See, everybody's not for different levels in things in life. Everybody's not for different levels in things in life. All things is not for everybody. Everybody can't be a billionaire. Everybody can't be an engineer. Everybody can't be a scientist. Everybody can't be a doctor. Everybody can't be a mathematician. Because it is given unto you, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. See that? Watch how he going to break down this topic, why everybody can't get this. For whosoever has, 
to him shall be given. Wait, why does it say that? Why did he say that? If you got, you going to get more? And he shall have more abundance. But so whoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that what he has. Wait. Wow. Wait. This is Christ telling you, I don't have, and he's going to take away what I got and give it to somebody else. That sounds like, you know, that's why a lot of people don't believe the word of the Lord. Now, let's stay right here, right? And let's go into the book of John and understand that. Why did he make that statement that you're not going to understand that? Let's go to the book of John, the eighth chapter, right? Let's go to the book of John, the eighth chapter. Listen to what he says about that. He that is of God, John, the eighth chapter and the 47th verse. Listen to what he says. He that is of God, hear it, God's word. You therefore hear them not because you are not of God. So when you're confused on the word and the word got you confused, see the word's supposed to be simple. It's supposed to give you comfort. It's supposed to be clarity. Listen to what he says again. He that is of the Father, heareth the Father's words. You therefore hear them not because you are not of God. Now jump up to the 37th verse. He says, I know that you are of Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. This is why people do not understand the Lord's word because the word has no place in them. It has no place in them. But let's let him go a little deeper and tell you why. I speak that which I have seen with my father now he's clarifying. You do that which you have seen with your father. Wait. He's telling people that you think that God is with you, but you have a different father, not God. So, a lot of these rappers and politicians and stars and uh, musicians and stuff is always talking about, you know, God is with me and stuff like that. Not really. Not the most high. Not the most high. The most high is not with your crap. He's not with your glory. He's not with you lying, talking about, you know, God is love and all that. That's not what he's with. So where did you get your fame and your glory from? From your father. See that? From your father. That's why he says that. I speak that which I have seen with my father. Look how he's, look how he's separating. You do that which you have seen with your father. So now you got to say, well, what father is he talking about? Let's drop down to 44. A lot of people are of their father, the devil. That's why you cannot grasp the word. That's why it's confusing to you. That's why you don't understand it. You don't want to be instructed in it. You can't hear it. You are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father, you will do. So now there should be no confusion 
in someone if they're truly studying this word because they're hearing it from the master teacher himself. Let's drop back to Matthew again, the 13th chapter. So that's why he said that in the 12th verse. Therefore, I speak unto them in parables because they seeing Israel, seeing, see not. So look how he just said that Israelites are blind. Spiritually blind. Look at them arguing. Oh my God, in all these different rooms, confrontations, disputations, carnality. Because they see, see not. So I don't argue with them because I understand that they're locked off. And hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which say, by hearing you shall hear and shall not understand. So this is why people do not understand the Bible. And seeing you shall see, so people go into the Bible, they read, they see it, and shall not perceive, spiritually perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, clogged up with all kind of boogers and stuff like that inside of it. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and they shall understand with their heart and shall be converted, and I should heal them. So what is he really talking about destiny and time what do i mean destiny and time let's go up in the book of romans the 12th chapter let's go in the book of romans not the 12th chapter the 11th chapter and the 25th verse look at destiny and time something had to happen so israel was shut down Romans 11, verse 25. For I would not, brethren, that you be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own conceit. So what is the mystery? The mystery is that blindness we cannot see, in part, is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. So he's saying that Israel had to be moved out of the way and made blind. Now the Gentiles had to come in and they had to fulfill over a period of time whatever their destiny was that they had to do. So everything is going through stages, stages for the next age, for the next age. This thing keep cutting off for me, man. God. Turning off? Yeah. I think it might be in here where I'm at. Uh -huh. um, keep, keep doing it. So now we coming out of Romans. See, everything has been done, right, that the Lord has done. The This is the third part, okay, of part one as to why we cannot see. So now we're coming out of, we're going back to Matthew. Now look at the 16th verse, Matthew 13, verse 16. Look what he says. He said, but blessed are your eyes for they see. So whoever can see, you have to cherish what you've been given. And your ears, for they hear. 
For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. So what he means by that is that down through time, every prophet or major person in the Bible has been given a part. They weren't given the finality. You now have the Bible in its completion that you're seeing Genesis. You're seeing Joshua. You're seeing the judges. You're seeing the Apocrypha. You're seeing our story down through time as we move through time. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Hear ye now the parable of the sower. The parable of the sower. When one heareth the word of the kingdom, which is the Bible, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one. See that? Here is our adversary. This is our adversary. He's letting you know who the war is, who the war we up against, and this is the battle. Then cometh the wicked one and catch it away that which was sown in his heart. This is he who receives seed by the wayside. But he that receiveth seed unto stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, anon with joy receiveth it, yet he have not root in himself, but dure it for a while. So there was a brother, um, he was associated with uh, a church out here, Brooklyn Tabernacle Church. And then, um, you know, he got turned on to IUIC and he was there for a while and was glorious about that. And then um, I saw him last week and all of a sudden he doesn't believe in the New Testament anymore. Now he doesn't believe in Christ anymore. Now he believes in the Old Testament. Wow. And, um, you know, there are many, many people like that. Yet he had not root in himself, but dure it for a while. For when tribulation and persecution arises because of the word, by and by he's offended. So there's many people that's not about this word but the time and patience, you're going to see exactly what happened. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choketh the word and he becometh unfruitful. But he that receiveth seed unto the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it which also bring it forth fruit and bring it forth, forth some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Bang. So he's giving you the different stages of people, where they're going to be at, um, and who your main adversary is that you're going to be going up against over and over and over. Why? Let's go in the book of... Uh, Let's go in the book of um, Galatians. Hmm. Not Galatians. Um, Ephesians 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Lord that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. See, that's the adversary. And people do not believe that that adversary exists. People do not believe that that adversary exists. 
I messed up with this computer, but it's okay. I'll fix it the next time. People do not believe that this adversary exists, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. He's the principality against powers, against the rulers of darkness of, the, of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So if you don't believe, like there's a lot of black people that don't believe that Biden is the president of the United States. So that's why he says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, things that you don't see and you don't believe in. So you may not believe that Biden is the, the president, but yet he affects you. See that? He affects people all over the world. So you don't have to believe, and that's another reason why people do not get the Bible, because they do not believe in the Lord. They do not believe that God is black. They do not believe that Christ is black. That's why the Savior says this. Let's go in the book of John. John 7, 38. He that believe it on me, as the scripture have said. See, you must believe on him as the scripture has said. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So they don't believe. So another reason why people, and there's many more, people are twisted up about this word, man. Twisted up about this word. So they are dealing with the devil. They're not dealing with living water. Okay. Now, I'm closing on this one. This is only part one. Closing on this one. John 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. There's the spirit and there's the flesh. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And people are not with the Savior's words. They locked off. They locked off. They're not with his words. So there it is, man. Um, part one as to why, in short, people can't get this. They can't get this. Now I got a bunch of scriptures. I got like two more pages of scriptures. So there'll be a part two and a part three. All right. All right, my Lord. Go over that. Go over that again. All right.
I don't got to pay for the sins of my father, you punk bitch. My father went out and had kids while he was married on...